In this video, let's add some basic content to your new Google website. Under the insert menu on the right side of the page, you have the option to add a text box, images to embed URL content, or to upload. So let's look at some of these different options. Your first option is to add text. Simply click the text box option and you'll notice that you get a box and you're ready to add text to it. So I can begin typing text. Notice that you get the standard formatting options, bold, italics, and so on. Notice that you also have the option to highlight and hyperlink the text that you have. If you go to more options, you have some additional options. And you have a couple of choices in terms of the style of text that you can add. At any time you'd like to get rid of the text, you can hit the trash can inside of the text box or you can go to the left of your text box and delete the section. Your next choice is to add images and the new Google Sites gives you several options here. You can upload files from your computer, you can add images from a URL, you can also do a Google search. The results shown are labeled for commercial reuse with modification so these are free and available for you to use simply click on it and hit select and the content is added to your page. In addition to the Google search options you can also pull images from your Google Drive by going to your albums or any folder within your Google Drive. The next option is embed URL. When you select that option you can paste a hyperlink and Google will attempt to embed the content into your page. What that means is that if you've created content on a website such as Edpuzzle, if you copy the link from an Edpuzzle video, it will embed the link to that video lesson in your website. It's something that you have to check to see if, it's, if it will work because again, it does warn you that it's going to attempt to embed the content into your page and when it does not embed the content into your page, it lets you know that it's only going to show a link on your website. Your last option is to upload content and specifically this upload button refers to images. So when you select the upload button you get the option strictly to select files from your computer and you'll see that it takes you directly to your computer so that you can upload files. Your action plan from this video is to create a page that will allow you to begin practicing with basic content, adding text boxes, images, embedding URL content, and uploading content.